Happy Saturday. We've made it. Today we have Eddie Vedder's cover of Tom Waits Picture in a Frame. I love Tom Waits. Anytime I'm doing some mundane task, I'll put Tom Waits on and suddenly my mundane tasks feels more like a pirate adventure. This video is for Alan Bell. My sister has a cat named Catmo, so do you know Catmo? Cat Low, uh, Batman 48, and Matt Parker, an extra special super duper thanks to Mr. Neil Churchill for signing up for the Patreon supporters of the Cause Club. If you would like to be a part of that action, the link, of course, will be in the description, and here we go. Now, this chord progression is a bit of a meanderer, so you will find this very piece of paper on my website, ryanlent.com. Show notes and the title will be in super secret backwards code so no miscreants can horn in on our super secret information. The opposite of picture in a frame. Picture is something you look at, what's something you listen to, thunder. And we have to put that thunder somewhere in a jar. So jar of thunder is what you're looking for so you can follow along. Great, step one, D. Step two, D7. The only thing that changes between D and D7 is the B string goes down two frets to the first fret, so you have to unfortunately switch your hand all around. Middle finger will get G2, pointer on B1, and ring finger on E2. Then G. Then not C add nine, but C9. They're different. C9 is gonna be A, three, D2, just like C add 9, but then we're going to put our ring finger on G3 and our pinky finger on B3. Uh, I saw Eddie do this two different ways, or I heard Eddie do this two different ways, rather, and the way that agrees more with what the piano is doing in the Tom Waits version is going to be A3, D2, but then with your ring finger, this is the way Eddie did it in Philadelphia, smash down G, B, and E. So, this is the intro. D, D7, G, C9, that one's easier, then D, A, double D. You can do all your fancy D and A stuff if you want. or A thing you like to do there, and if you really want, you can mimic the piano in the Tom Waits version by going on the B string, three, two, one, before you slide into D7. Now that we've got those chords figured out, the verse is very self-explanatory. D to D7, G, back to D. Second line, two A's, or A7, they're interchangeable. Two D's. Third line, beginning at the third line, it's the intro. D, D7, G, C9, D, A, two Ds. You can do the same thing on the A chord as you did on the D chord when you move from D to D7, except it's going to be on the G string, 2, 1, open. Seven, it doesn't matter, they're interchangeable in this song. Here's the hard one. Yes. The bridge, I'm gonna love you till the wheels come off. There's no chorus in this song. How neat. G, A, D, B minor. 
in the Tom Waits version, this chord is played E minor 7, but there's tons of different ways to play E minor 7. This one, open 2, open, open, 3, 3. So it's like everything about a G chord except for the middle finger being on the E string 3rd fret. Two E minor 7s. Two A's. like A7 there. The point is, in the Tom Waits version, you really hear this, the B string 3rd fret go from the third fret to the second during that change. But Eddie did something curious in one of the ones I listened to. He played E minor 7 like this. Open 2, open, open, open 3 for the change of open B string to, to B2. So versus during that part, you do whichever one you want. They're both E minor 7, it absolutely does not matter. I'm gonna stick to the more Tom Waits true way of doing it, but Eddie's way is great too. Okay, bridge, ready, go. G, A, D, B minor, it only happens once. E minor 7. Verse, 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 verse a bunch of times, and the outro is almost exactly the same as the intro or the second half of the verse, except D, D7, G, C9, D, A, instead of two Ds, it's G, and then you end it on D, and that's how you play Jar of Thunder by Tom Waits, as covered by Eddie Vedder. But if you want to play the Tom Waits version, just take your capo and put it on the first fret and you will have the key of the Tom Waits version. I don't think it happens. It happens a different number of times, but that's all the correct part. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Saturday, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>